a real life Bethlehem High School pep rally going on here in the GDL studio today. You know, it is that time of year for parents to find the best school for their kid. Uh, and there's plenty of open houses going on right now. So we are joined in putting the spotlight on Bethlehem High School, which is in Nelson County. We're joined by faculty and students uh, to talk a little bit about what this school has to offer. And they have a lot to offer. Thank you all so much for being here. We have Sarah Thurman, the principal, uh, Gilly Simpson, the athletic director, Kylie Haggard, the uh, cheerleader who's um, on, on injured reserve here right now. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy. Carter uh, Zutterman plays baseball, golf, and on student council. Parker Osborne can't see him, but he's the Eagle <laughs> and Christian Furman plays football and on student council. So as you can see there, there's a lot to unpack because you have uh, athletes, student athletes uh, involved in multiple things. And Sarah, I got to say, first of all, congratulations to you guys. You have some of the top ACT stores in the state right now. And that's that's great news. Yes, thank you very much. Um, we are very proud of our students and our staff um, for all that they've done in terms of academics. Uh, we are very fortunate that we did score last year top locally and um, above the state averages for our ACT scores. Do you so think a, a lot of that has to do with the fact that you've got that smaller class size, those teacher to student ratios where kids can get in there and really work with teachers and say, help me get this, help me, help me do better. Yes, absolutely. Our class sizes range anywhere from 22 um, to 25 students. Some are even less than 20. We have a couple who average around 12, 12 students per class. So oh, wow. we're very fortunate that our student to teacher ratio is pretty low overall. And even last summer, we were able to hire additional teachers with our increase in enrollment with our freshman class that even helped that that much more. Yeah, my parish is St. Gabriel, and I can't tell you the number of students that are coming there. And people think, wow, Nelson County, how am I going to get there? But you've solved that too. You have buses that run to a number of different counties. Yes, we have uh, buses that run to eight different counties. Um, our county, of course, and then all the counties that surround us um, in additional um, areas. So we're very fortunate with that. We run buses in the morning with morning routes. We run buses in the afternoon for afternoon routes. And then we run an activity bus at 6 p.m. for any students who play sports or activities or in any student organizations that can go home at 6 p.m. as well. If you want to go, we're going to get you there. That's exactly <laughs> right. We're going to find a way. We're going to find a way with yes. transportation. You know, you mentioned sports. Gilly, I mean, congratulations. You guys are really, I think, making a lot of great noise across the state when it comes yeah. to athletics. We really are the, uh, you know, I always tell people there's a couple of things that we really try to point out to people. One is that, you know, we are, we have the good fortune of being able to participate in the class A tournaments for the small schools, mm -hmm. but also with the open tournaments for the larger schools. And, and uh, you know, in the last three years, we've won five class A state championships and almost 20 regional championships. Uh, but then really we also get to the point where um, we compete in the 19th district and we've won seven of the last 10 19th district championships and, uh, and three regional championships and uh, girls basketball who's been to the uh, Sweet 16 three out of the last four years and then also golf in which Carter participates and archery. So we are uh, we're able to compete with schools of 2,000 or more students and do so successfully. Got a brand new state of the art athletic center too, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a it's a beautiful complex. We complete we, we continuously get compliments when people walk through the breezeway and they walk out into it. Uh, it's almost like a field of dreams reaction Ooh, that a nice. lot of people give us. You know what I'm noticing here is that everybody plays multiple sports. Yeah, we have actually, we encourage that highly. We think sports provide a great example. A lot of, of schools, though, you can't. Like, you can't you, even, A, if you make the team, you may be sitting on the bench. The best part right? is the coaches are on board with that. We have 74% of our student body participates. Of those, 62% play one or play two or more sports, 38% play three or more sports, and 13% play four or oh, more wow. sports. So we encourage that, the coaches encourage it, which is helpful as well. Yeah, absolutely. Preparing them for their next level, whatever absolutely. their next level whatever that uh, is. may be. All right, I want to get to the students now because I know they have a lot to talk about too. You know, um, Kylie, we know you got injured. You're a cheerleader. You know, tell us like where you went to grade school and why you chose uh, Bethlehem. So I went to grade school um, in Bardstown. Uh -huh. I decided to transfer to Bethlehem my freshman year and I fell in love with the climate and the opportunities that I had at Bethlehem. So I joined cheer my sophomore year and I've had many opportunities since then. I've gotten to cheer at Rep for girls Sweet 16 basketball and many football games all across the state. Um, so yeah. All really right, Carter, what about you? I was, so I went to St. Joe uh -huh. and like growing up, all I heard was Bethlehem's a family, family, family. Mm -hmm. And it took me till I got there to actually see that it is true. And with me being a varsity letterman, 
and student council president, Bethlehem really does a great job with getting their students involved. Uh -huh. And like everybody's, everybody has some leadership role at Bethlehem. You're Love more it. than just a number. I know uh, Christian does too, you in leadership and playing football. Yeah, I've been a big football guy. I've been, I've had the opportunity to be on several good sports teams, but it's not just about the sports at Bethlehem. You know, we have so many opportunities that are given to us. I mean, especially after, after high school, I meant, sorry. Um, but Miss Coons, she, she does an amazing job. She always gets us ready for college, gets the application process, helps with our ACTs, SATs, all that kind of stuff. So we have a great community around us and teachers love us and they care for us and they care about what we do in the future. All right, we cannot ignore Parker in there. <laughs> right? How cool to be the, the mascot, the eagle, right? Parker, you want to add in anything? How long have you been the mascot? One year. What? <laughs> I can't talk too much. That's why they can't talk, because they have all that stuff on. You all, thank you all so much for coming in. And again, you have an incredible representation of the students that go through Bethlehem. And I know big things are going to come for all you guys. So thank you for coming on up and um, sharing all the great news with us. So we want to tell you. everybody, thank if you. you are interested, because their open house, I want to make sure I get this right, Sarah, December the 7th. Yes. Uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. Their open house is coming up. That's a great opportunity to get in there and see what the school's like. You get to talk to more students teachers and see if this is a fit, a fit for your kids it's co-ed we got to mention that Correct. right a lot of the schools are yes. you know boys girls but this is co-ed so if you want to do that shadow want to learn more about their open house just head on over to bethlehemhigh.org for more information